Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. As always, it's me, the Smithy D, and today we're going to do some Endor Escalation and have a look at the event to see if it's good or if it's bad. The concept of it looks great so far. It looks exciting. The, you know, the thumbnail of it has definitely got me interested in this. So for this actual stage one, CG have been nice enough to give us some preloaded Ewoks, you know, so they're going to be gear 11. They've got the Zetas on them. But in the future, when this event does return, when when Wicket does go free to play, we're then going to have to use four-star Ewoks of our own. But we will get some Wicket Shards, but we will not be able to do the bonus tier, which I cannot see that's visible here at the moment, until we have a seven-star Wicket. So how do you feel about that, guys? Because it has been stated that there's a high possibility that we're going to see some unique mods come from the bonus tier. So are some of us going to be held back? Who knows? It's not something that's exciting or enriching to me, but I guess that, that is the game model at the end of the day, isn't it? It's either if you buy something or, or, or you don't and you just have to grind it slowly. So what we can see on the characters, having a quick look, um, takes a little bit to load. As you can see, they've got no, no mods on them. They are fully maxed, but they have no mods and that will probably explain why Wicket doesn't actually hit that hard because he has zero mods on him on this event. So if you can imagine when you do return with your Ewoks, you you know, put some mods on them, you're probably going to make up for some of the areas you're missing. But again, remember guys, these characters do have Zetas and they've probably got every single one of them all fully Zeta, all fully maxed. So there you can get a little bit of a feel and understanding of the survivability and you may have to put a Zeta in the future but I guess we will find out when we do get to use our own but for now let's go in against this ATST and it looks pretty amazing you know you got the the bike troopers next to them the scout troopers um I wish they had the bike though come on CG where's the bikes you know Pablo could have um stole maybe <laughs> so we want to put that torn up I think to protect our team and the good thing about Poplo he's very tanky you know he, he can take a lot of hits especially when he's kind of like zated and all the rest are around him um he does take quite a bit so we're going to do an assist attack see oh no that was my bad oh silly silly smithy they're all dazed okay so let's clear the daze should have done that first really so I wasted an attack there so that's not really that good is it we're going to try and, I think the aim is, is to keep Paplo in taunt. It's going to be the best, and the way we can do that, I believe, is we you'd use the special of Wicket. So Wicket, does that look like he's gear 10? I thought it says on the forums he's going to be a gear 11, but it looks like a gear 10 to me. Um, unless I'm looking at it wrong. Um, I did have a few drinks last night, so I'm a little bit hungover from, from some Heineken, but... Back to Wicket, when we select the ally, we want to go with Paplo. It's going to put him in stout, force him into a taunt, normally what it does. Um, let's have a look if it actually did do that. Yeah, as you can see that the target ally gains stout from critical damage up for two turns. And with Paplo, one of his uniques is when he gains stout, that turns into a taunt. So we kind of make him auto taunting. And that's why Paplo goes great with Tebow, because he just kind of comes like your general Kenobi, I guess. Nice. Uh, we just need to now. Oops, I shouldn't really done that, should I? And every time I guess we use a special ability with Chief Chirpa, there's there's a high chance as well they're going to get an assist. But as you can see, uh, my Pablo's taking quite a bit of hits as well, which is good, and I think that's going to be the key to getting through this event if you are having any problems getting through. That's going to be a nice way of doing it. Just keep your Paplo in stealth. Ooh, it's taking a bit of hits there. But that's okay. Because uh, it's all building up for him. It's all building back. It's okay. Nothing to worry about there. Wow. See all that health drop there? That was crazy. Right, so we're on phase two. And this is going to be where the ATST is hiding behind a tree. For some strange reason, did he just teleport there? Or was he just like, I've had enough of these Ewoks. I just walked off. And then these, these troopers came out. So again, before we do the AoE, we want to get that taunt up. You can see the taunts up on there. Then we're going to come back with the AoE. So at the minute, all our Ewoks are safe behind. Kind of like Paplo. 
which is all good and so if you're struggling this is definitely the tactic I would advise to take maybe put some retribution what are we doing we just got dazed thank you hmm I'll get rid of him again we're gonna taunt I don't know what happened there <laughs> I thought I did it, but I must have done it too quick and pressed the wrong button. Sorry, guys. He's going to taunt himself anyway. There we go. So, at the minute, we're doing quite well. Ewoks are safe. Um, and I'm enjoying this event, you know. It's um, definitely, definitely a good little mini event. And I am looking forward to it returning. Um... I don't know how hard it will be. It probably will be quite difficult. It's probably going to be a reason to kind of do your your Ewoks up, I guess. Let's just take him out. There we go. It's come back out. Oh no, what are we going to do? <laughs> and it looks like we're going to have some um, Scout Troopers next to him. Kind of weird, isn't it? So let's put up all, all our stuff that we need. Yeah. Guaranteed crits all around. Let's get that torn up. I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, let's just do it, I guess. He can dispel on his basic, can't it? So we'll get rid of that speed down. Um, we've got no reason to use Chirpa at the minute. Um, let's put some days on him. Ooh, only one. Then we're going to clear that. Yep, yeah, there we go. No, we don't. Oh. What? You're kidding me? What happened there? <laughs> he just got killed. Go on, bring him back to life. Bring me back to life. Save me. There we go. And uh, we're definitely taunting. Thank you. That's the amazing thing about Alda. <laughs> just revive. Um, if he dies. Then it's pretty much game over, I think. You, you need him there to revive. You felt just from that attack that happened, just took me out. Boom! Didn't even see it coming, it just happened. Right. Let's go for the assist. Mm. We'll use a basic, I think. Use the basic again. We just gotta really take its health down at the minute so we can go on to the next phase that's gonna be phase four. Um yeah, we've got some decent amount of buffs here. Yeah, let's let's taunt just in case. Getting a lot of turn meter as well. It's the wicked just going crazy. He's gone crazy, crazy on you. You, you, you. Throw him. Oh, that's a lot of Stormtroopers, isn't it? So what we got? Recon Stormtrooper, Stormtrooper, Stormtrooper Commando. And then I guess Stormtrooper, Recon Stormtrooper. Cool. Let's daze on if we can. Yes. Oh, we're dazed now. Uh, we'll just go for the AoE on the... No point me using my assist attack. Could be wrong on that one, guys. Oops, I shouldn't. Have I should have taunted there, shouldn't I? That was a, that was the first mistake I made, or maybe the fourth or fifth. No, not again. This chirper dying. Ah. Uh. Let me select ally. Nope, can't select somebody. That's got days. So even though it doesn't work or not, it's going to have to, you know, low grade. Oh. Out of all the people, it had to be Chirpa that died, or didn't it? It had to be Chirpa. Oh, not Chirpa. Alda. Damn, I get mixed up. It's going to be like these Jawas with me soon. I'm not going to know which one's which. I'll know who Wicket is, of course. That's one character I didn't want to lose was Elder. Damn. Mm-hmm. 
So how are you guys getting on with the event? Have you found it easy? Uh, are, you, are you struggling a little bit like me, losing <laughs> your character that you, you know, that you need the most? Um, but normally I think I would probably reset there, you know, losing my elder is kind of like, for me, it's kind of like game over because he's kind of a big part of the cleansing to my team. Um, but we may still be able to do it. I can never say never. Hopefully, if we just keep um, Pablo's taunt up, we might be all right. All right, hopefully we can just kill them. Oh. Come on. Let's do this. I want to save all my abilities. For... Nope. This... Come on. <laughs> yes, it's come out. It's come out to play, guys. It's going to go crazy, crazy on you. You, you, you. <laughs> oh, so we want to get that torn up as quick as possible, I'd say. Doof, doof. Yep. We're going to do error of effect. We want to put that foresight up. Guaranteed crits. That's all good. Just take him out as quick as possible. That's even better. Oof. That's not good. Gotta wait for that days to go. So that's alright. You you can keep staggering my my taunter. Please keep staggering him. Keeping him keep him in taunt. Right. Can we do this guys? We might be able to do this. Let's just go for it. Yeah. I think we might be alright. Even with the loss of Chirpa, it was a big loss. One we will never forget. We're nearly there guys though. Uh, can't bring in the assist because of the days. Come on, we can do this. We're close. Closer than I was last time. This is my second run. Um, the first time um, didn't go too well. I did lose the same character again, Alda. And that <laughs> it was the same thing. I just died, pretty much. Um, I can't bring Pablo in because he's days, so have to just go for it it's nearly there I think I've done this guys I really think I've done this this time unless he wipes me out in one move then now I think that's it I think he's going down hopefully we're gonna see Chewbacca Rebel Chewbacca is gonna come out give us a hand or something maybe not come on a couple more hits Ooh, no oh this is so close Come on, we can do this. That was a big hit. We got it. We did it, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, victory. Let's see what loot we got from this. Hopefully, it is decent mods. Uh, okay. One mod. Hmm. Okay, so. Um. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, hmm. I'm probably going to just sell that mod in all honesty. Um, hopefully, you know, this isn't the mods that we're going to get as unique mods. And if you have a seven star, like, um, wicket for the bonus tier, um, can we replay this? Do we get to play the bonus event? No. Okay. Maybe we would have got better if we free starred it. Hmm. But there you go guys, um, that was it. I think the concept of the event was good, I, I, I really did enjoy it, it was fun, you, you heard me through the video. Um, the rewards are quite lousy to be honest, but I didn't do it for the rewards, but if these are the rewards you're going to get for having a 7 star wicket, then they're not really that great rewards, uh, but I guess we will see. 
you've enjoyed the video, then please make sure that you hit that like button. And, um, you know, if you've got any comments, you know, what do you think about this event? Make sure that you do comment below. I would love to talk to you about it or any ways that you think they can improve on it. Thank you very much for watching today. I'm the Smith BD. May the force be with you always.